Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the third and final installment of my all around summer entertaining series and my collaboration with Entertaining with Beth. We thought it would be really fun right before summer to kind of put our heads together, collaborate, come up with some fun DIYs, snack ideas, and just tips and tricks for your next get together with your friends and family or your next party. So for today's video, we're focusing on outdoor entertaining. Beth is going to be taking care of the food because that is not my talent in life. <laughs> She's way better at that than I am. So she made these really yummy shrimp rolls and some corn salsa. So definitely go check that out. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna be focusing on the DIYs and my tips and tricks for hosting a party outside on your patio or in your backyard. So yeah, let's just jump right in. So when guests are spending time outside, it's important to have a few different things. First and foremost, you want to have plenty of seating. So I'm just going to kind of move everything around. Um, plenty of shade. I have two different umbrellas so that my guests can enjoy the shade while they eat or mingle, especially if it's summertime, it's hot outside. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you have that. And if I do need extra chairs, I keep those in my garage and I will bring them out if I have a larger group of people. Next, I like to add a little ambiance with some string lights. You can find these at most any outdoor store. You can find them at Rite Aid, Target. Um, and these are great because they are real glass, so they look really beautiful and you have to be careful because of that, but they are all weatherproof. So you are safe to use them outside. I put them on my fence and I actually just used two zip ties together and tied it tightly to the top of my fence. And then I took some scissors and just removed the extra there. And it's just really pretty from going into day to night. It just adds a really pretty ambiance and glimmer to the outdoors. So I'm just stringing them as tightly as possible across my entire fence. And it's just a nice added touch. I also like to add lanterns and faux candles. Obviously, lighting candles outside can be a little bit dangerous, so this is a really great option. You can find these in the outdoor section of most department stores. And this is a solar panel, so it absorbs the sun in the day, and then at night, I'm gonna cover the panel right there, and you can see it has a little light that flickers, so it looks like a candle, but it's not, and it's perfectly safe for outside. So I loved these. I thought that these were perfect for the table, and if you have a table or or an area where you can put some outdoor lanterns, some fake candles. I think it's just a really pretty added touch. I'm a huge fan of flowers, both outdoors and indoors. Outdoors, I have potted flowers and plants, but I also wanted to make a small little arrangement. So I just got some hydrangeas from the grocery store and I'm putting them in these little small containers that I got for just a few dollars. And it's really a great way to add some color and texture to your backyard. And it's really simple. So um, yeah, just a few lanterns, faux candles, flowers, little things like that make all the difference in the world. I also like to put some blankets out in the backyard for if I know even in the summertime it gets a little chilly at night, it gets a little cold, so I put a bunch of blankets folded up nicely in a little tin container there and I put it out available for all my guests just in case they get cold. Cold beverages and snacks are a must have for outdoor parties. So Beth is obviously going to be making these snack ideas, but some really great options for beverages are, I love to make fruit ice cubes, especially in the summertime. And this one's a really fun one for the 4th of July. You could do strawberries in ice cubes and then add it to champagne if you wanted to. Um, you can do this, I'm doing raspberries and blueberries, and you can put it in sparkling water. You can kind of just do whatever you want, but it's a really fun, colorful pop um, and just an option for the drinks that you can have available so you just add water to ice trays and some fruit whatever type of fruit you like you could do pineapple mango whatever you want to do and then just freeze it and then add it to your favorite beverage So also for a nice cold beverage that most everyone enjoys, I'm gonna make some essence water or spa water or detox water, whatever you wanna call it. This is delicious. All you need is a full cucumber. Um, you're gonna want about five or six lemons, depending on your taste. And then also I'm gonna put some fresh mint from my garden in there as well and some water and ice. And this is just a really delicious, refreshing, you know, basically essence water that your guests can enjoy while they're hanging 
hanging out outside. You know, it's usually hot outside in the summertime. So it's really nice to have this option. And um, I just find it really delicious. You can even make this every single day and just have some fresh available in your refrigerator for your family. But I find that especially when you're having a lot of people over, it's nice to have something like this that they can all really enjoy. So you could definitely use the chalkboard mason cups that I made a few videos back or plastic cups. I'm also using some of these really fun crazy paper straws that I got from Target which are really cute. And then I got the giant pitcher um, also from Home Goods. And then I have the container with the ice in it. So I'm just kind of setting up a little drink bar. And then I am going to label it spa water. Again, you can label it essence water or detox water, but spa water fit perfectly in there. And then a little smiley face, of course. But in case they don't want the beverages that I made, I'm going to set out a bunch of different options um, in a tin container that has ice in it so that there's plenty of options for my guests to drink. Obviously, if you have an outdoor fire pit, uh, it's nice to light that, especially as it gets colder. And then just enjoy, um, as it gets darker, you can turn on the lights and enjoy the beverages and just have a good time and hopefully your guests will too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this series and you enjoy my videos, please thumbs them up. Subscribe, you can get a new video in your subscription box every single week by subscribing. And also check out my last two videos. You can click one of these places here, should be there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys very soon, bye.